Hi, I'm Tony. This is SV Tapatia. We're down below in this cruising sailboat that we're in the process of building. This is the, the video log of the build of this boat and, and I'm trying to video as much as possible of the boat build. Uh, it's December now, chilly down below. I've just switched the heater off for the purposes of, of recording this so you don't get that droning heater in the background. Having said that, there's a droning aeroplane going over, which you might hear. It's also December has started, cold, blustery, stormy in fact. There's a storm warning here today. Uh, not a time to be up on the coast, that's for sure. I mean, it'd be very stormy. That makes you worry a bit about Hazel's boat that's up there. She's hauled out, standing in the yard, but right on the very coast. Um, hopefully that all goes well. It's out of our hands in many ways, isn't it? But it's that time of year now to start thinking about things that can be done, you know, in these cold conditions. One of those is clearly the upholstery. I still be ordering the cloth very, very soon for the upholstery, and we'll start sewing something can be done indoors in the warm uh other things you know little bits and pieces down below the engine room is a is a major goal to get that finished ready to go um i intend to fit the sail drive just to be able to hook everything up and be able to you know make the parts that i need to make to to connect everything um but that'll just be a temporary installation of the sail drive and i'll take it out again uh, to transport the boat up to the yard where we'll be fitting the keel and the sail drive, hanging the rudder. Those will be done in a boat yard up, up, you know, very near the water. And hopefully the, the goal is to minimise the time I need up there to do as much as possible here so that we then just truck it up to the boat yard and hopefully very quick before we can launch. Here we go. Okay. Perfect. So here's the, the bit that I cut out, just for those of you who are interested, because remember that this is two layers of plywood laminated together, um, and that's where I cut from both sides, that line there, the joint is a little bit this side of that line, and it's absolutely perfect, there's no hint of any gap between the two layers of plywood, so again, this has been the case with everything I've taken out of it, perfect.
do for now. I'm going to get fed up later. Also in the engine room, there's the bilge pump being installed. Got the pickup pipe going in. Got the seacock going in over there. It's uh, just waiting for the Sikaflex to harden up so I can tighten up the nut and then put the actual seacock on. And then we'll have a looped pipe with a vented loop going up following the course of the camera up there somewhere down that side to that connection there. And that'll be that electrical bilge pump out. The wiring's still not done, it's up there. Just got to be plugged into the bilge pump wires that are through into here. So that's going on. And while I'm in here, you might see cold over the back there is the engine stop cable. So I've got that to run through. And the engine control cables. And I think I'm going to put the sail drive in temporarily. Check everything fits well. I've got this rear engine mount to check, check everything fits well, and then uh, take it out again, transport the boat up to the to the boat yard before launch and fit the sail drive there. But I should do a temporary fit, I think, make sure everything's ready and fitting so that in the boat yard things go together very easily. There it is. In the end, I didn't think it needed a vented loop. I think it's close enough to the middle of the boat center line and high enough above the water line that it doesn't need a vented loop. Time will tell, I suppose. Wouldn't be difficult to change it if need be. But that's in. As you see, the pump's still not wide. But that's not tricky. There's the cell drive and it's time to try it in place. See how it goes. We're going to try and get it in the boat through my lovely shiny varnish and uh, see if we can get it in position. I don't want to drop it on anything shiny. That is really the crux of this one. Okay, put it down there. That's better. Okay, onto there. I remember you can't step yeah. on that hole. Can you support that? Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Good one, so far. Yeah. It's my feet, isn't it? I think. 
closer. First of all, like this. And it might be the truth. It's very, very close now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is looking hopeful. It's mainly in. Mainly. Yeah, that's good, I think. It's just this rubber that's snagged up. When it's in place, we've got to get the spline lined up and the shaft in. But it does go into that gap, which is very positive. I have to take the rear mounting off there. Yeah, next stage. I believe that is going in. Oh, yeah, it is. It is going in. So it's in with three bolts. Now we've just got to get that rear mounting on it. And then that will level the engine up and we'll see how everything lines up. Spacing block under there, which I had to make to adjust this engine bed to fit. And the plan is to put a reinforcement piece from that stainless that's attached to the floor there, across to there. Holds everything in position. And we're pleased, it fits. As you see, that's all in, bolted down the ring, got the aft mount on there, still gonna make up that a plate that goes from the back of the steel underneath the aft mount across to that bracket on the floor there. Um, now I can make up the, the cable and the shift mechanism for the, for the gear shift. So it's all ready to go, looking great, happy with that. Obviously the, the seal diaphragm there needs renewing when I do it properly and that metal ring will need a splash of paint here and there but generally I'm pleased with that it went in I can get it in and out again in position which is one thing I wanted to know and now I can hook everything up so that I know that it fits it's easy to hook up again when I put the cell drive in and we can get it all ready to go pleased and that is it for this week I think I'll be, as I said at the start, I think I'll be ordering upholstery cloth very, very soon. Um, that'll be interesting to get on with that. I'm, I'm not a big sewer, but I want to try and do the upholstery myself. Several people have asked if I'm going to sew the sails myself, but I'm certainly not. I, I don't mind sewing cushions. That's, that's one thing, but sails, they've got to be done properly, haven't they? So uh, I should be getting, in fact, I've already ordered professional, professionally made sails for the for Tapatia. Um, one thing I wanted to mention was um, on Facebook, you know, I don't do much on Facebook in all truth, but I did set up a group, um, SV Tapatia Friends, it's called. And the idea of that group is that if any of you out there, anybody out there has is, is got a little project they're working on, a little or big project that they're working on, a boat build or some other, you know, interesting handicraft DIY project, Boat builds primarily, but other things that are certainly interesting. And they'd like to post pictures, videos, whatever, anything that, that you know, share it with us. You're welcome to go over there, SV to Patty friends, post what you're doing. I look forward to seeing something. See you next time. Bye.